Hey everybody, Teacher Booth here, and this is just a quick tutorial on how to make a timer. And there's actually two types of timers I'm going to show you. Um, I've created a scene, and I've just added two actors, a background and a character. And there's no rules on these yet, but we'll go ahead and do so. So click on Game and Attributes. And we're going to um, add a time, again, an attribute here. Just let me get rid of this one. And so hit the plus sign. And we're going to go type integer, choose. And let's call it game timer. And we're going to set that to something small, like five seconds, just uh, so we can show you how it works. And we're going to click on game actors again. And usually we'd set up a invisible actor um, that will control the timer, but because we have a background image and it doesn't interact with anything and it's always on the scene, um, we can just go ahead and use that uh, instead of creating a new actor. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a rule here. And we're going to tell this attribute game, game timer is greater than zero. We'll throw a timer, a timer in there. Every one second, change attribute, game, game timer, to game, game timer, minus one. So basically what we're telling it to do is every second, we want it to take whatever time is in the game timer and minus one more. And we're going to go ahead and press uh, OK. And up here, the reason why we're, we're adding this rule here, um, if game timer is greater than zero, is because when we get to zero, we want it to stop. And if we didn't use this, it would go to negative one, negative two, and it would just keep counting into the negatives. So now that we have this rule in, we're going to go into our actors scene, and we're going to create an actor, and we're going to go display text, and we're going to say time is up. And I'll go ahead and darken the text there. And we're going to set the opacity to zero. And we'll go back out. So let's go back into our background actor. And now we're going to create a rule. We're going to say when attribute game, game timer equals zero. spawn actor and it was actor 3 that I put so we'll go back and just for um, the sake of, of visual uh, representation for you guys I'm gonna create another display text here you don't really need to do this I just want to show you that the timer is working we're gonna go display text and I'm gonna tell it to display the timer and again I'll just set that down to a dark color opacity to zero, go back, and I'll throw that actor on the scene here. Okay, so we'll preview this. As you can see, the timer's at the top and it's counting down. And when it hits zero, time is up. Um, so that's how you make a countdown timer uh, with a rule for it to do something when the time equals um, your desired time. I'm just going to go ahead and delete some of this here. And I'm going to show you one more way to do a timer. And on the background, I'm going to delete this stuff. Okay. So let's say you have some bullets in your scene or enemies that you want to um, destroy after a certain time. So I, I'm going to go in here and to one of my actors, and I'm going to set um, a attribute in the actual character. And I already have one here, but I'll delete it and do a new one. So again, integer, choose, and we'll call it timer. And here we're going to do something different. We're going to put a timer here. And we're going to say every one second, change attribute, um, this time we're going to go actor2 or whatever name you name the actor because it's um, it's a self attribute not a game attribute um, and the reason for doing this is so that way if you have multiple of these uh, actors on the scene they'll all act um, into their own timer opposed to a global timer um, so we're going to go actor2 timer and we'll go actor to timer and this time we're going to go pl 
plus 1. So we're actually going to have it count up from 0. And now I'm going to create a rule that says if attribute actor 2 timer equals 6 seconds destroy. And then we'll go back in here and I'm going to throw this on here. And I'm going to put a couple on here. I'm going to show you a couple examples. So now when we press play you'll see after six seconds they should all just disappear. And there you go. So now I'll show you another way um, how they all act individually. And we'll go in here and we'll click on this one. And I'm going to unlock it here. And I'm going to tell it this timer here is already at one. And this timer here I'm going to set to eight or sorry, three seconds. And this one here I'm going to set to uh, nine seconds. So we have preview here. And now you'll see that they'll all act individually opposed to globally. And there you go. And um, that's pretty much it for timers. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a, a post in the forums. And uh, myself or some of the community members will be happy to help.